Welcome to another episode of What's the Scoop presented by Perry's Ice Cream. Maddie Glab alongside Roger Saffold, one of the offensive linemen that's new to the team this year. Roger, I know you are used to being quick when you're blocking for Josh Allen because he's quite a quick quarterback, but we're going to put you through the ringer with a bunch of rapid fire questions. Okay, here. here we go. Number one, if you weren't playing football, what sport would you play? Honestly, I'd probably be like a UFC fighter or something like that. I just love the physicality and over the years I've just grown to really look kind of like, like love that sport. How did you get into UFC? Because if you look on your Twitter, you, you, you're tweeting about the fights. It seems yeah. like you're into it. About five years ago, I went to my first match live and I had such a great experience. I think I went to a Bellator match and met, met Chris Pratt. Wow. And like, you know, this was after Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm a big Marvel guy, so that was cool. Do you have a, a favorite fighter? Do you have somebody that you like have have adapted to or have followed a lot? I just, honestly, right now, I just really love the champions. You know, pretty much for, for men's and women's. And just the way they take care of themselves and, and how they win so decisively is just amazing to me. What are three words to describe Roger Saffold? <laughs> <laughs> uh, silly, aggressive, and motivated. What's the best part of being on this Bills offensive line? We're so cohesive in and outside of the room, and we have a great time working together and playing with one another. What do you bring to the offensive line room? Experience and then just, you know, kind of the aggressive way that I play. What's your favorite meal? I say breakfast. Are you a breakfast for dinner type of guy? I can do that. I have no problem doing Slums. that at all. Yeah, it does. It hits <laughs> different at night, man. Yes. Oh my goodness. What's your favorite dessert? A favorite dessert? Cookies and cream milkshake. How are you adjusting to life in Buffalo? Right now, you know, I'm still trying to get my bearings around where everything is and where to eat, but I I've had a great time so far. You're also the CEO of Rise Nation. Can you tell us about that? Basically, it's an esports organization that works with like different players. We create teams in different leagues, and by different leagues, we mean different games, and then they compete for us based on our brand. How did you get involved in that? Did this start with a love for gaming? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. You know, I'm one of five, you know, four sisters. So I used to play games when I wanted to tune them all out. <laughs> and then once I started playing online, somebody came up with the idea for me to have my own team and I took advantage of it. Why is it important for you to have something on the side that's also profitable? You know, there's so many different things that happen with the NFL where things can change at an instant. I mean, I, I know them from personal experience, so it's nice to have different avenues for revenue. <laughs> what are your favorite sneakers to rock? Oh man, I love Jordans, but I've really been getting into a lot of the, the more designer wear. I think that Christian Louboutins, I have a million of them. What's your favorite brand to wear? My Givenchy section of my closet is continually growing. Uh, I was big into Fendi. They just need to make their shirt like sleeves a little bit bigger. You see these things? Who has got the best drip on the team besides yourself? Oh man, it's definitely Stefan. Stefan is definitely up there. What's one thing that a vet Roger Saffold does that a younger Roger would not? Oh, the way I take care of my body is completely different. I come in maybe an hour and an hour and a half early to start to warm up because one thing that you can never beat on this field is time and I'm gonna have to go ahead and continually get myself warmed up to be able to compete with these guys. These guys are getting faster, these guys are getting stronger, and they keep getting younger. If you were on a deserted island, what's one thing that you would have to bring with you? Is there, is there Wi-Fi on the thing? <laughs> you know, bring see, Wi-Fi? That, I mean, honestly, honestly, if I had an iPad with probably like every movie up to now, I'd be straight, I'd be good. What's your favorite movie? Oh man, my favorite movie is a class act. It's an old school kind of like hip hop movie with uh, Kid and Play. And uh, I actually did the Kid and Play with Kid one time. Like, no the, way. like the dance. Uh huh. Yeah, that was, that was it. Very cool. What's your favorite TV show to binge? I really enjoyed the Terminal List. I really enjoyed the new Stranger Things. And if you're just talking about all time greats, you might be looking at Breaking Bad or Snowfall, something like that. What's your favorite color? Favorite color is blue and red. How ironic. How ironic. Are you just <laughs> saying that because you're wearing blue and red right now? No, no. Blue, red, black, I wear all the time. What's one thing you can't live without? I'm gonna just have to just say my kids and probably just put my kids out there. It's a good Cause answer. Because honestly, I think that anything else I could really, you know, kind of sacrifice. <laughs> What's your favorite app on your phone? Like Netflix, obviously, because I say I was a movie buff. And right now, Sudoku. Okay. I kill Sudoku. I destroy it. I like it. Instagram yeah. or TikTok? 
you do any of those? I say Instagram. I recently I'm not trying to date you right now. I recently got on to TikTok, but I felt like I was too old for TikTok. But I would probably choose Instagram over that, even though Instagram is starting to it's starting to get an evil eye to me right now. <laughs> Biggest fear. Biggest fear? Dang, just gonna put me out there yeah, on front we're, street we're like get, that. We're getting deep. Actually, you know, like noises in the dark, not even really the dark. That's that's pretty freaky. Noises in the dark, so every night I have my fan blasting. It doesn't matter if it's freezing or what. Anything. Blocks out all the noise. Jordan or LeBron? Man, I, you know, I'm from Cleveland, Ohio, so these are some tough questions. I'm going a, I'm to a just go with LeBron because I'm an Ohio boy. Blue cheese or ranch? Buffalo blue cheese, I'm all about. I don't know what they serve it on the rest of the world, but that's not it. But this, I can, I can do this. Who's the nicest guy on the team? Oh, Case Keaton. <laughs> he's he's just he's just the nicest guy, man. Who's the funniest guy on the team? The funniest guy is Josh, without question. What about most serious guy? Most serious guy is probably it's probably bitch. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> just when we're in between the lines, that nobody is just more or less like I yeah, don't hear any locked jokes. in. Um, it's about this. It's like Batman in there. Who's your best bud on the team? Not Dion. <laughs> Started in the Pro Bowl? Yeah. That's so Wouldn't funny. Wouldn't it be crazy if we were on the same team? I know, right? A month later. Hey, guess what? I'm here. <laughs> Biggest pet peeve? Asking me the same question over and over again. Okay, some interesting questions here. Oh gosh. Are fish ever thirsty? I'm gonna go on a limb and say no. Okay. <laughs> Where does a thought go when it's forgotten? To the recesses of your mind. Which orange came first, the fruit or the color? The color? I think so. Yeah. Right? Why not? Our <laughs> eyebrows, facial hair. <laughs> are they all your face? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why are they called buildings if they're already built? Oh, man. I have no clue. What's your favorite ice cream flavor? Favorite ice cream flavor? Cookies and cream. And I think that I make the. Classic. I think I like the milkshake because it's like easier to get to. It's easier <laughs> you know to eat. I mean? yeah. yeah, yeah. And if you're having ice cream with somebody, who are you gonna share it with? I'm gonna have to go with my kids again. When we go get when Love we get it. when we get frozen yogurt, we're all huddled around the ice cream. We'll like take bites of each other. Well, Roger, thanks for sitting down, getting to know you a little bit better. CEO of Rise Nation. He loves to game. He's gonna be on a deserted island with an iPad, and he's got <laughs> big guy drip. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect.